So today we're gonna to talk about why I created the only client relationship management stands for CRM software for business loan brokers. So before we get started, of course, story time. When I started Panther Consulting Group, which is the funding side of my business, where I help small business owners get access to capital so they can start, grow, even expand their business, the vision was to create a financial Walmart, a one-stop shop for all your funding needs, uh, meaning that I wanted to offer all these different loan products. As I said, going back to my book, Three Batch of Lending, there's only three ways on how you can get any business funded, either based on their credit, their income, or the assets. Uh, and there's products within each one of these lending segments. Uh, in the credit side of it, I wanted to offer business credit cards, personal credit cards. Uh, on the revenue side, you know, we're talking about factoring loans, purchase order financing, revenue loans, SBA loans, merchant cash advance. On the asset side, we're talking about real estate. Uh, we're talking about, you know, all different types of real estate, from conventional real estate to SBA loans, to hard money, to private money, to bridge loans. Uh, and also, we're tapping into equipment finance as well so my background I used to be in the mortgage industry and in the mortgage industry owner occupied loan originator uh, we used to use a CRM software called point uh, if you're in the loan orig origination industry you know what I'm talking about uh, what I'm talking about when I say point so we use a software called point and it was strictly designed for a loan originator you know residential owner occupied loan origination that was it so when I got into the business loan industry, believe it or not, I, I was I used to manage my clients with a freaking spreadsheet. You know, I had a spreadsheet with first, last name, and the email of the client and their phone number. You know, okay, it was it was stupid. It's like you know trying to ride a horse in 2023. You know, this car, self-driving cars at that. You know, so in essence, I'm telling you that if you're running your clients in your brain or just taking notes or having like a notepad, like that, that's just really ridiculous. You need to be able to have a client resource relationship management system. And I decided that I needed to create one because there was nothing out there in the industry that could actually do what I needed to do by offering all these different funding options. In addition to that, I was also doing credit consulting. So. I was thinking about, I needed a customer relationship management system to do a few things. Uh, I needed something that can be able to handle contact management, of course, um, you know, all the different leads that I was gathering from all the different types of sources or places that I was gathering this leads. You know, I would, you know, get the leads from an online form. You know, I'd get the leads from marketing events so I'd manually input the leads. Um, you know, they would come from my website. They would come from a link that I post on social media. You know, and I needed a CRM to be able to handle all the workflow automation. We're gonna get much more in depth than that here in just a second. And I needed also a CRM to handle all the marketing that I was doing and to be able to automate the marketing, okay? We all know once you fill out all these forms and, and things at all these places from your grocery store to your banks or whatever it is, we get all these emails. They don't send those emails live. Those emails are scheduled and they're all automated to advertise their products. And it's critically important as a business loan broker for you to be able to constantly be advertising and educating your audience on the different marketing products that you offer for a few different reasons. Number one, people only do business with people they know and like. So you have to constantly be be in your clients and your prospects faces number two um, funding needs are you know periodic you know some some business owners just don't need money at that specific time but you want to be in their face right there when they need it so you need to be able to have a way where you can market to your prospects in an automated format I needed to have a way where I can customize this CRM to what I needed it to do I needed to have a way where I can integrate this CRM with other different softwares that I was using my Calendly were to, to schedule appointments. I needed to integrate it with my email so I can, you know, I, I needed to integrate it with uh, my website. So when you complete information on the website, it comes completely directly to a client management system. I needed to also work in a team environment where I can schedule tasks for my assistant or another uh, teammate or referral partner. We can have a centralized place where we can work together. I needed for this to be able to, of course, manage tasks. You know, I can schedule a task hey, I need you to do this, or I need you to do that. You know, so this is a very, there's a lot of asks, as you can see as I'm going as I'm going with this. You know, I needed to be able to have some CRM analytics, you know, from uh, to track how many leads that I have in the system, how many leads that we're gathering in a month, in a day, and, and, and to be able to kind of see the growth of the company as things uh, go. I needed to be able to have what we call pipeline management. You know, to be able to know, okay, 
out of the hundred people that are in my database, how many are prospects, how many are past clients, how many active clients, how many are not interested? You know, there's so many different types of, what do you want to call it? Uh, things that I would like to know based on the information that is in my database. You know, I need to be able to, 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 to send emails within the system and be able for it to be tracked. I needed my CRM to be also mobile as well. You know, because at the same time, we're always on the go, you know, and, and, and given the fact that we always have access to our phone, it just makes sense to have a CRM that is also mobile as well. I needed a CRM to be able to uh, manage and handle all the invoicing, you know, all the orders, sending out any quotes or, or, or whatever it is. And I needed to be able to have a secure CRM given the fact that majority of what we're doing is we're looking at people's credit report. We're looking at financial data. We have, you know, bank statements, credit reports, you know, social security numbers, you know, and it, I, I needed to be able to work with the company that offered technical support if I had any issues, you know, so there's a lot of things that I needed out of a CRM. Okay. And what I decided to do is I decided to create one, okay, because there was nothing out there that actually existed. I did find a company out there that allowed me to actually use their system and to create this thing that I'm about to actually show you right now, which is the CRM that I built a long time ago, partner, partnering up with Key, uh, that I use for my business home brokers. And I'm gonna kind of walk you through how we make this system actually serve all these different needs and how this system actually has all these different features that I just managed that I needed. Uh, and I got a list of all the things that I just talked about. Contact management, workflow animation, marketing, uh, customization, integration, customer service, team and employee tracking, task management, CRM analytics, reporting, pipeline management, email management, mobile CRM, invoicing and management uh, or order management, the data security, which is important and also CRM support. All this and more. Okay, I know, and more, I know. I'm like, oh, what the hell, Brian? What else could this goddamn CRM do? It does so much, okay? So let's kind of, I'm, I'm gonna walk you through kind of just the basics so you can kind of see, you know, what I'm talking about. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put this list on the side right here. And of course, eyes on the screen. Stop looking at me right now. Look at the screen. Look at what I'm teaching you. Uh, so uh, let, let's go over just quickly, one, step by step, each one of these things. So contact management, of course, you need to be able to have a way where you can add contacts into your database. This CRM allows you to do that. It's real simple. Uh, it manages all your contacts. When you go to marketing events, uh, once you get a contact, when you, you you know, when you send somebody to your website, you simply just add them in here. You know, um, test, test, last name is test last. Let's go ahead and put test at last uh, gmail.com. And as you can see, you quickly have on here and market that you have permission to market to them. You put their phone number. This system also allows you to do what this thing called to have tags where you can classify each one of your clients, you know, credit consulting lead, real estate lead, Past client, whatever tag that you want to classify each one of your clients, you can do that because these tags allows you to target market based on a specific tag. And you can create whatever tag that you want to create. It is a, our system has a million and one tags, but there is one tag that applies to everybody that's in the database, which is an all contact tag. So I'm going to, uh, to go ahead and communicate with all of them. So, of course, this meets the the criteria is to be able to have a contact management system another thing is workflow automation you know there's so many different things as i introduce this to you, you you'll be able to kind of see how this helps with the workflow and and exactly what i'm going to be doing clearly what we're going to be doing here is we're trying to help business owners get access to capital that's what that's that's the whole point so it requires gathering information about the business owner we just gather the contact details about the business owner uh, so I created all these kind of what I call custom tabs and as you can see I'm gonna show you how we work with them and I'm gonna show you each one of these tabs on here and it's, it's just there's just so much in this database you're gonna be amazed here in just a second so um, this personal notes section is designed where you can put any kind of personal notes regarding the client. As I mentioned earlier, people do business with people they know and like. So you need to develop some type of personal relationship with your client. So as you're speaking to them on the phone, the first time you're talking to your prospects, the name of their dog, the anniversary date, their favorite color, you know, what their favorite NFL team, their favorite, uh, favorite NBA team. I generally want to put all those personal notes in this section or anything that I want to remember particularly about that client as I'm making, you know, what we're talking about breaking the ice, that in initial conversation that I have with the client. So I got that person on the phone. So let's just, let me go ahead. Let, let, let's play this in real life. Okay. Boom. We're going to put the headphones on. So as I'm talking to the clients, I'm gathering all these personal details. How was your day? You know, where are you from? And all this and that. Then we get straight into business. Initially, they, they will let me know. And this information is also gathered. If this 
information was pulled from the website they will let me know which funding program they're interested in as you can see that's the first question right there and i want you to know that this crm was created with the vision of the three paths of lending of course there's a book link in the description harold let them know what they can download that book so now once we know what the uh, what, what product they're interested in, we we'll go right here and have this conversation with them. And, and this was designed for business loan brokers. So how did you hear about us? Well, I heard about you online, Google, or my friend, or whatever it is. Um, you know, how much money are you looking for? Uh, I'm looking for a million dollars. Uh, and you just simply type this information on here. Tell us a little bit about your business. Uh, I'm in real estate flipping. Um, or whatever it is that they share with you. Uh, use of funds. What do you tend to use of the funds? Buy and sell houses. You know, and again, going back to what I said, this CRM was created with the three paths of lending in mind. So as I'm gathering this information, my job is to gather the necessary information so I can figure out and analyze the data to help the client to determine which one of the three paths, as we mentioned, is the best path to help them reach their funding goal. Are we going to be using their credit? Are we going to be using their income? Are we going to be using an asset in order to reach their funding goal? Or a combination of all of these things, depending on what the situation is. Uh, but we're not going to know that we're not just those people that just shove merchant cash advances people's throat on. You have three options. You got to take 60,000, 40,000, 20. It's stupid. That's not how business brokering works. A good business loan broker does not work like that. And I'm going to, of course, what I do is I teach you how to become a real business loan broker and not just a glorified referral partner, okay? We look at the best interest of our clients in mind. Every decision we make, we, we, we focus on the best interest of the client. I know I'm talking too much. Let me slow down a little bit and get back to work over here. So how is your credit? You, you simply ask this uh, question and, and most of these questions, you're not being so robotic as you're doing this. You're letting the client expand on all these things. Um, I always tell people that as a business loan broker, you want to position yourself as a lawyer. You want to position yourself as a doctor because you let your client tell you what you need to know and then you figure out how the way you can represent them in order to help them reach their funding goals. So you let them talk to you. How is, how is your credit? They're going to start talking about a divorce. They're going to start talking about this. So they're going to start saying they have excellent credit or whatever it is. Again, it will let you know, give you a sense of which one of these three paths uh, you need to go. Or it will let you know if the client is just simply wasting your goddamn time. Um, so anyway, moving on, how long have you been in business? You know, I've been in business for over 10 years, you know. Uh, how much money do you make personally? You know, I make about $150,000 personally. Um, you know, what, what kind of revenue does the business make? The business make about $500,000 annually. Um, you know, what's the, what is the business net? The business net's about one hundred and fifty. dollars um, You know, do you own any assets that can be used as collateral? You know, yes, I have a car and a house. And as you can see, every single one of these questions that I'm talking about here are very relevant as it pertains to the three paths of lending, as I always say. They're focused on the credit, they're focused on the income, and they're focused on the, focused on the assets. Uh, as you can see on the bottom section right here, this allows us to collect the login credentials if the client has a monitoring service. Of course, we do not pool credit. We have the client pool their credit, and they provide a recent copy of their credit. It's considered a soft pool. It actually does not hurt the client's credit score. Um, so we either gather those uh, credentials. We can also walk the client on the call through pulling the all credit report because uh, we are going to need to analyze the credit. It doesn't matter which one of these paths we're talking about. We must analyze the client's credit report. That's critically important. Now, the next thing that is offered in the CRM, as you can see here, is the funding and review options tab and this what this is now we've gathered bank statements credit report real estate agreements whatever it is based on that initial conversation we've gathered we come right here and we will look at this information and we'll let the we'll put this information on here as to what the client qualifies for again this is a centralized crm that pretty much uh, anybody, referral partners, whatever, can get can get access to. So, what is needed to process the client's file? We need an agreement, an ID, um, consultant thoughts. You know, this client is a great candidate for the real estate program and our UBL program. You know, and I'll put, go ahead and put on there funding recommended. Uh, this one, and then we got this one. We can select more than one, as you can see. And then we break down exactly what the client qualifies for every single funding program that we offer okay this is not specifically i, I hate and i'm going to keep repeating it i hate these dumbass uneducated business loan brokers that are just simply selling one product that are just trying to shove what they have in the client's face getting back to this so we, we tell them okay you qualify for 50 to 100 thousand 
in, uh, in UBL program and we have phase one and phase two when it comes to UBL. In phase two, you can qualify for 150 uh, to 200,000. Uh, we let them know what they qualify for personal lines, additional, you know, 10 uh, to, to 25,000 in personal lines. You know, if we did gather or collect their um, personal loan information, we will also let them know what they qualify for personal loan uh, on here. And, and so, and we just kind of go through on here and put every single thing that the client qualifies for. Uh, so for personal loan, if I collected the client's uh, pay stubs, you know, if I asked for that information, then I'll go ahead and put on there what they qualify for personal loans. If not, I look at their credit and I'll probably put some comment as, you know, this client does qualify uh, for personal loans, I'll just go ahead and need the last two pay stubs uh, and whatever it is. If the client did provide a copy of their business bank statements to be evaluated for revenue loan, I'll go ahead and put on there what they qualify for. If not, I'll let know that you know we'll need last six months bank statements and so forth and so on. This is also for traditional lines of credit. Uh, factoring, I'll go ahead and put on there what they qualify for, 50,000 uh, in factoring. Uh, we need copies of whatever, whatever is needed. And I go through on here and I provide the information for the details for each and every single one of these funding options, okay? This is before I get on the phone with the client. I go ahead and put this on here and I save this information in the system. If the client does not qualify for any of the programs that we've just discussed, based on this information we gathered, we still give them a little bit of hope, um, you know, and, and let them know, okay, we need to fix your credit. It's gonna cost you this much money. It's gonna take 90 days. Uh, and I train you how to make these estimates on the client's credit report so you can be able to kind of make an educated guess. And we let them know after they fix their credit, this is how much we'll be able to get you you know, and, and kind of give a, a breakdown on here and you save this information, it is on this centralized client relationship management system so anybody can review it. Now we have information on the initial card that we had. So we're not sitting here trying to remember all of this, uh, that. You know, let's say their dog's name is uh, um, Buford. Um, you know, all this information, you know, got married in November 27th. Uh, in Utah, in Utah. Now I can I can create. This sounds silly, but I can create some marketing emails for happy anniversary on that day. You've seen these emails come to you before. This is how this information is gathered. So now we have we have the initial call. I know what they do. Everything is is on here, and I can log in at any time. I can access information on my cell phone. I can access information anywhere. So now we go ahead and send the client an agreement. Let's just say we send them a UBL agreement or a real estate agreement, whatever the case might be. They go ahead and complete an online form, very similar to what you would get at when you fill out a bank application or whatever it is. The information comes in in this centralized database. Let me give you an example of what this form looks like so you can kind of get a sense of what we send to the client. So this is the form that they would complete, okay? And it would have all the information, their EIN number, you know, their social security number, whatever it is. And this is a secured form, okay? Because, you know, again, security, very important. As we're talking about all this stuff, the information would come right here. We would have all the details. And, and again, this just, it allows everything to be in a centralized place. As you can see, especially if you're a business loan broker, if you want us to build this custom CRM for you, there's gonna be a link in the description. You wanna schedule a time. If that's all you're interested in, we'll build this CRM and, and, and give you an exact copy of this CRM so you can be able to use it for what you're trying to do. You know, there's tags, as I explained tags before. You can link two contacts together if you have two business partners, um, you know, uh, married couples or whatever it is. Uh, access privileges, we don't wanna get too techy right now. So let me slow down on that one. Now. The next thing this thing does, uh, as it pertains to workflow animations and all this stuff that we're talking about, you can manage tasks. You know, you can set up a task for anybody and, and, and you can have as many people as you want to in your team. You know, you, it, you can have a processor, you can put referral partners on here, you can set up tasks, you can be able, it'll be able to track all the tasks that are open, all the tasks that are completed, um, you know, and it will tap, t uh, track any appointments, it will track any notes, you know, spoke to client, um, let me just give you an example. Spoke to client waiting on credit report. Okay, so you can be able to type all these notes and 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 everything, and they will all be saved in this centralized database, and it monitors the date that note was taken, who took the note, and what's going on. So you have a centralized place where you can punch in all this information, as you can see. Uh, another thing that it does is is marketing. As I said, there's, you know, I can't even get, get into the back office right now, but this allows you to market to all of these people. So marketing automation is done. The customization, you know, you can get in here and there's no automation. You know, let's just say I want to send this client an agreement for UBL. 
I can simply click that button as I just showed you. It will immediately send them an email, as you can see. It will also set up a task. Um, you know, I'm gonna show you all of this. But as you can see, this is an email that we just sent. This email has a copy of the agreement, and it also has a copy of the uh, form that I just showed you, and it tells the client everything that I need in order to get started. All of this is done by one simple button. So, as I said, marketing automation done, customization done, Integ integration is to integrate this with your website and, and, and many different tools out there with Zapier done. Allows you to manage customer service done. Uh, employee tracking where you can track who's working on this or who did this done task management done uh, CRM analytics done this CRM allows you to track so many different things from how many contacts are in your database how many did you get in the last 30 days I mean I can track literally every single email that somebody sent when they opened it I can see it right I don't know if you can see this information but I can see it all this all this and that right there uh, reporting done Pipeline management, done, uh, done. Uh, what do you call it? CRM, email, everything is centralized in a sense that even my referral partners can see any emails that goes out to each one of these clients. It's all in a centralized database. It's amazing. As you can see, you got email history. I can tell if somebody opens up my email, they don't open it, what time they open it, what email was sent. Everything is all done. Uh, this system also allows you to manage this in your phone. There's an Infusionsoft CRM. You can't see that, but of course, that's done. Uh, invoice and order management. This is just amazing. Uh, there's this second tab right here that allows you to, of course, create invoices. You can connect this to Stripe or whatever merchant account you have down to PayPal if you have PayPal. And you can be able to send invoices. I don't want to make this video long, but trust me, it's all done. Centralized database. Data security. This is very secure. Uh, CRM support anytime that you need or have any issues with this system you can contact the customer service and they will help you online they will even get into your system because they can see exactly what you're talking about so that was fast okay i was trying to make this video as fast as possible but i want to and there's so much more that this crm can do that is just it's just ridiculous and it's amazing and I, i've not seen anything like this in the marketplace so as i said and as the title said i created the only business loan broker client relationship management system you want to put a link in go ahead and and, and uh, click the link in the description if you would like for us to build this out for your team and, and train you on how to use it because you desperately need that if you don't have a crm in 2023 i don't know what's wrong with you every business needs a client relationship management system regardless of who you are you must have one so this is something that we can do uh, and we have done and we'll be able to duplicate this system for you so again thank you for joining me today and i'll see you on our next video anyway if you stay with me through the end you know i appreciate you i really do please go ahead and give me a like to the video subscribe to the channel uh and i guess i should sh go ahead and, and pay some bills uh let you know what this video is brought to you by our sponsor broker solutions academy there's going to be a link in the description we work with people that are interested in becoming a business loan broker we have a very comprehensive business loan broker course and we're going to be teaching you everything you need to know about about how to become a business loan broker our mission statement is we help business loan brokers understand and simplify the various funding solutions that are available in the marketplace so you can properly serve your clients stop the endless confusion and self-defeating pointless rat race they're currently in and grow their business while maximizing profits by teaching them how to become a real business loan broker not just a referral partner this video is also brought to you by pennington consulting group and that's where we work directly with entrepreneurs and also business owners to help them get funded so if you're looking to start grow or even expand your current business pennington consulting group there's going to be a link in the description where you can go ahead and schedule a time and like we always say at pennington consulting group our goal is to help you reach your goal again thank you for joining me today and i'll see you in the next video